So you want to automate your pool because your pool has burned out the COM port board or because it's too expensive to replace the COM port board. I have a Pentair system. This will work for Jandy and Hayward and others. There's a such thing as a spa side remote. You'd normally run it out here and it would have four buttons and it would turn on four things. So we're going to take advantage of that rather than the COM port side or the expensive automation offerings. And you can go on to Amazon.com and you can easily buy this Sonoff model, 4 channel pro. Make sure you get the one that's for low voltage. And you see that this works with low voltage. It can also has a high voltage input. We're going to use the low voltage. We're going to emulate a spa side remote for four items. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one's nice, this model, you can get other brands. This one runs about $30. This one's nice because it has buttons on it, other than just the automation that you're going to have on Alexa and on the app. And then it's got indicator lights. This blue one means it's on and on Wi-Fi. These four mean this item either is on full time, and, and that means it's in locking mode. And that's what you probably don't want. You probably want a momentary switch, which is inching. That's what they describe as inching. In other words, it's pressed momentarily, just like you're pressing the buttons over there or on the spa side remote, which is all it needs. On, off. And by the way, when you get going, there's only one command you'd give Alexa or Google Home, and that is turn it on or turn it on, and it goes off on the second command. One thing you don't get is confirmation, so if you can see your pool, that's good. So. There's four screws on the back of this. I already took them off. And on the inside, you'll see that it uh, is set up for different modes. And here's what you want to put these jumper switches in. I had stickers on mine from the factory and I had to peel them off. You see this jumper switch here, and this one here, and this one here. Well, we're gonna put them in inching mode. And I flipped all these to up, if they weren't already up. All these you flip them down and they're very hard to see so I'm outside where I have even more light and then this switch right here you want to put it in the far right position and that'll put it in inching in other words when you turn it on by these buttons right here it'll turn on the circuits momentarily see the LED lights here and they'll show up on the front LED lights all right so the other thing that I want to talk about is how we're going to power this thing because it does not come with power I want to power mine with low voltage and I happen to have this and this works all the way up to 24 volt DC direct current. I found an 18 volt source over there in the box and after I get done I'll show you where that is. But this was a spare that I had. It, it powered a phone like a voice over IP phone. You'll have to find something that fits yours or you'll have to take this apart and solder to the contacts to do it directly. So I power it right there. And while I was programming it or getting it on Wi-Fi, I used this cord, which worked fine, but I don't want all that. I've already got an 18 volt source over in the box and that'll turn it on and off. Other than that, you use an app called eWeLink. And you can also flash this to open source. I'm not gonna go into that, but I use eWeLink. People say, I don't trust it, whatever, it's going offshore. Well, I'm using uh, a special guest access, so they don't, even if they could get in, they couldn't see anything on my network, but uh, EOE link, and that'll give you your four on-off buttons that you'll be able to use on Wi-Fi. And by the way, the Wi-Fi chip seems to be right here, and you can see the inbuilt antenna. All right, so that's everything you need to know to automate your pool. There's someone out here who took my idea from a couple years ago. It looks like they directly ripped it off, called Smart Spa Switch. Either that or it just occurred to them, whichever is fine. But they've made a commercial thing out of this, and they're using e -wheeling. They're using a similar thing. It's really, you can get this for $30. If you use the ones without cases, different brands, you can get them for $15. And you can do all this yourself. And we're going to take the uh spa side wires over there and you'll see this and again in a minute and i'm going to have an input here because this is the normally open side it's normally open 
and then when you touch it together with this button or with the app it's going to normally close normally close 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 that be four things that we can turn on and off then there's a common wire I'll show you how that works over there on my system it's a black wire I'll run it in here and then it is jumpered to the next to the next to the next and that gives you two contacts the contact we'll put in here one two and it turns these on and off it's simply connecting these two wires that's all it's doing so you say something like Alexa spy on it does like that Alexa pool on it does like that Alexa heater on it does like that and I wanted to use my fourth one for heater boost which will pump uh, put turn my system on for several more minutes so you can boost the heat and it does that you can program those to anything you want in your Hayward Jandy or Pentair for this boss side remote so that's where you program over there what's going to show up over here and here's what it looks like hooked up all right I've got the sawn off up here and I've labeled my switches with a label maker and I've got it all wired <clears throat> so let me show you how it's wired we'll take this off this is a Pentair easy touch maybe what you have but like I said it works for Jandy it works for others like Hayward here's what you want to look for this is the low voltage side of my system so there's no risk of dying from electrical shock here <clears throat> this is the high voltage side down here right if you open this up there's high voltage in there so you need to be careful look um, the IS4 or spa side remote shows up here this is your common and I know this is labeled black but I didn't have a black wire in this network cable which is ideal because there's a lot of wires in here there's eight four pair of wires that you can use use whichever wires that you want I matched them up closely but you, you won't use this orange wire because that's for a light to come on the spa side remote uh, the other ones are per device that you've got powered in the IS4 spa side and like I said you program your system for each one of these mine is programmed for swimming pool for the button that would normally be on the spa spa heat and heater boost so this is the common wire and again what this is going to do is it's going to touch that wire to that wire when you press button one it's going to touch this common wire to the second wire when you press button two and so forth right so what this looks like on your sun off or other device is that we took these wires and that white green dashed one which is the black labeled on my system it's the common it comes in here is that second one you look right here and it says common right on your map and I've jumpered it like I showed you a moment ago all right so <clears throat> number one for me is this tan wire Tan wires coming in here to leg one. All right. Device one, normally open. Normally open contact means when I press that button, it's going to be closed for a second. Normally open, closed, right? So you won't use that normally closed third leg in there for any of this for most systems, I would guess so you wire the rest of them accordingly so I've got the jumper that goes across there for the common wire so I fed the dashed green wire in there and I put a little leg to jump it there and again there and again there and this is for my spa this is for my heater and this is for the heat boost all right I powered my system as I mentioned earlier with this spare cable that I had and let me show you where I picked up the power for that for my system it's got a good range from 5 to 24 volts and there's a lot of different volt sources in your box I found one that's really reliable in the Pentair system here apparently and that's for the COM port so my COM port is played out anyway on this board and that's my problem that's why I'm automating things a different way but anyway I'm going to jumper it off 
I'm going to use two legs of this. It's the red one, and it's the black one on the right, far right. So I'm picking up my 18 volts right there, and it's coming into here. So I don't have an additional plug. Um, you could power it by a different power source. Um, you can power it by an old adapter you have, um, even a USB plug to charge a phone as long as you picked up, because that's 5 volts, as long as you picked up a couple wires and fed them into there, because that, all that plug is is two wires. This Sunoff is particularly cool because I upgraded an other board, another board. Let me show you what that looked like. It's in the video you may have already seen on YouTube. That sort of told the world how to do this if they hadn't figured it out. And these can be had anywhere from $12 to $18 online. And it's very, very, very similar to that, right? Um, it does the same thing, but it doesn't come with a case. It doesn't come with buttons. So you can get this one for $29. And it comes with buttons, so I've got the ability to walk up to this, too. If I want to turn on my pool, push that button there. And, of course, you heard it turn on. If I want to turn it off, push that button there. Normally open, normally closed. It's just touching for a second. Momentary switch is another name for that, right? All right, so that's the sun off. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to put the screw back in. And uh, let me show you how this works um, on the uh, eWeelink app and the Alexa app. So... Uh, the eWeelink app is the app that you'll need to download to get you started. As I said, you can flash the firmware and do some open source things, but I did not go down that route. Um, once you get your device online, and there's a little instruction sheet that comes with this that tells you how to get it online, and once you're online, you've got the status button here. It's got a good strong signal, and I'm a good ways away from my house and uh, probably 50 feet. And because this runs on 2.4 gigahertz only, it has longer distance than a 5 gigahertz. So it also will authenticate with your password and all that. All right. So the eWeelink app looks like this when you open it up. And I named my system Smart. And let me open it up. And I'm showing you this on a tablet, so it's not optimized for a tablet. The buttons are a bit askew. Um, but so you can operate it in here too. And let's do the same thing for pool. You'll note that I turned it on and I turned it off with the same action. It's touching. Okay? And that's why it's important when I show you the Alexa part in a moment, you realize that an Alexa on command is actually the same thing that turns it off because it's a momentary switch. It doesn't know the difference between on and off. All it knows is it's closing temporarily and opening back up. So let's look at the Alexa app. Okay, if you'll find your switches in the Alexa app. So you wanna, after you get this hooked up, you wanna say discover devices to Alexa. Similar commands for Google Home, and it works with Google Home. And if I look in here, I've got my devices, I named my entire switch Smart. You could name yours after your pool name or whatever you want to. But somewhere in here it's all devices. There we go. And now when I look under here, I have four new devices in their name, the corresponding things. So you can give Alexa commands and of course turn it on. So let's see if this works. Alexa, turn on Smart Pool. Okay. And she won't recognize off commands, as I said, because this is a momentary switch. So you have to say turn on again. Alexa, turn on Smart Pool. Okay. And it works the same with Spa and Heat and Heat Boost. So there you have it. $29 to automate your pool. And I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. Thanks.